so this is like a import store. Miss Kim runs this. She usually vends pretty close to us in Kino. She sells all kinds of stuff from Indonesia and India and China. Both rocks and like jewelry and tchotchkes and sculpture, a little bit of everything. Even some like gemstone and jewelry display. Here, these are like amethysts from Uruguay. Kind of look like they're all broken. Some of these are cool. They have calcite growths on them. Everything is super negotiable at these types of booths. Here's a nice heat treated one with some calcites. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Maybe I find some money on the ground. <laughs> you make it right. Hundred pound for two hundred dollars. Two dollar pound. Ah, yeah. If you buy a hundred pound, uh, thirty dollars. Three, three, three dollar pound. Mr. Hong, which one's your which one's your favorite? Uh, if you like the top table, how about that one? Oh, nice, the little one. I thought you liked yeah, the big one. The big one. Mr. Hong, you have some good taste. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, not too heavy. Yeah, you're right. You can you can put it in your backpack. Carry it with you. Oh, you can this one. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Hong is cool. Here is like a northwestern style totem. From what I've heard, is that people have that metaphor. Oh, you're the bottom of the totem pole, as in, you know, you're the smallest potato. But from what I heard, that's the most important part because it's what holds everybody up. So the metaphor might be a little backwards, but very cool. I do not think this is made by like Knickknack or uh, Northwestern tribes, but yeah, definitely not. Knickknack Indian or Northwestern, Northwestern tribes, but still very cool. Maybe a little bit of cultural appropriation, cutting it in Indonesia, but anybody buying a real totem would know because you'd definitely be paying for it. Let's take a look at some of the knickknacks. These are like Manufactured ambers, some seed beads, literally made out of seeds, not like the Native American glass seed beads, but really seeds. Huh. A lot of cool stuff from India, maybe Jaipur, Rajasthan, Bali. What is that? Oh, it's abalone. These are cool. A good friend of mine brought a bunch of these back from Nepal. They're actually, I think they're like a resin. And I guess they heat them up and they cut them, gouge them with like wood gouges to make the faces and such. All kinds of stuff. Literally, uh, assuming that all of this stuff probably literally just stays in Tucson in a warehouse. Those quartz massage ones. Starting to see these sold out like QVC, not QVC, uh, GNC, from, like the health section of Walmart for like 30 bucks. <laughs> Where it's the same exact thing, probably the same exact warehouse that these ones are being made and sold for a few dollars. Let's go talk to Sweet Medicine Lynn. What are you looking at, Lenny? I'm gonna uh, make some earrings. They're already drilled, huh? Yep. How much are they? I don't know. But these are for Eliza, for dancing at the Pueblo, and they're abalone. See, Does she they... dance at the Pueblo? Oh God, yeah. I didn't know that. Oh yeah. Or like this. Those are special, I think. It's a bag of gemstone rings for $15. If I made one of these rings, I'd have to get 15 bucks, let alone buy a whole bag. 
for 15. They all look like they're carnelian, serpentines, uh, adventuring, jaspers. Probably get a few broken pieces when you buy the whole bag, but definitely worth it. There's some nice casted metal things. These are cool. <laughs> Good for your mom and pop Christian shop or your rock shop. This is a necklace. Beautiful. I dig it. Hmm? I like it. And I would put it on a string. Oh. This is uh, 36, 60, and 120. This is definitely jadeite from Myanmar. A lot of people don't know that you can buy affordable jadeite. Some people think all jadeite's got to be worth thousands of dollars. Not necessarily the case. However, even the simple relief of Buddha, I would have to get, you know, several hundred bucks just to carve that, let alone charge for the price of the jadeite. Bringing it back from Myanmar, there's a lot of political turmoil going on in Myanmar right now. So I don't think too many people are bringing back jadeite jade, but there's definitely multiple lifetimes worth of jadeite here in America. Enough to go around. My grandfather would buy more affordable pieces of jadeite, even if they're carved, and use that as material to carve his own sculptures out of. He likes to do eagles and scarabs out of Myanmar jadeite jade. These are those little dog lions. I think you see these a lot outside of uh, shrines in Japan and you see them in China. These are definitely probably made in Bali or China. Master carvers over there. I don't remember what those dogs are called. They're like dog lions. These are cool. Bone beads. 25 for 100 pieces. Are you in Shell City over there? Oh. Yeah. These are some hematite beads. <laughs> this one has little saints on it. Is that Jesus and Mary? I hear sometimes when Mary is either wearing blue or green, it's actually not. Mary, it's John the Baptist's mother. Twelve dollars for one dozen of these <laughs> bone little stew skulls. Very cool. It's like a dollar each. You can incorporate them into your jewelry or whatnot. Thirty-six dollars for a dozen of these rings, most likely made in East India. But real stones. Regardless of the material that they're made out of, I couldn't make these for, what is that? Two dollars each? Three dollars each? Yeah, three dollars. It's a nice agate there. Uh, lower qual Actually, not a lower quality piece of lapis. A higher quality piece of lapis, just a lower quality cut. But still very nice. Super high dome. These look like ironwood, but they're I'm pretty sure it's mahogany. I buy a lot of really cheap guitars. Sometimes they come from India or Indonesia and they're actually made out of the same wood as these Buddhas and these monkeys are made out of. Beautiful. This is porcelain. That's a goofy owl. Yeah, I love that. Goofy owl. Some non traditional Plains Indian looking dudes. Is that tea set? In the Chinese style or the Japanese style? I don't know. The 
Oh, look at this box. $75 for this gemstone chest. With a chest inside the chest. Is there a chest inside the chest? That's inside of the chest. Yes, there is a chest that's in the chest that's inside the chest. But there is not a chest inside of the chest that's inside the chest that's inside of the chest. Very, very cool. <laughs> Maybe like that. Cool. Wooden beads. Sold by the dozen only. No price, but you could probably expect them to be a dollar or less. Tchotchke swords, daggers. All kinds of stuff you'd see being sold at like head shops or like gas stations in the south. Incense, fans. Lucky cat. Like a Meowth. I used to buy these little guitars from Miss Kim every year and I just sit around and noodle with them. They were really tiny but they were slightly unintonated. But they still played. Came with six strings. And then I'd usually give it away to some little kid by the end of the show. Are we ready? Yes, ma'am. Did you get something? No, ma'am. I'm just looking around. Okay. These are between like twenty and seventy-five dollars. Some cool casting. Are they lost wax castings? I think so. These ones are like 80s. At, that's uh, Hanuman. I heard a great story about Hanuman the other day. Six dollars for a dozen of these, 50 cents each. Just little tumbles with little base metal pins with loops inside of them. I couldn't drill the hole to put the little base metal pin loop at the top of it regardless if I glued it or not for six dollars, let alone 50 cents each. Flats of geodes for $75 a flat. Mm, not a bad price. There's probably more than 75 of them there. These are cool. Replica of old Chinese money. Or honestly, for all I know, it could be Chinese money. Just like out of circulation. No, I really doubt it. It's got to be a replica. I'm not saying you can't go to the store with something that big. There's a nice chair over here. Just, there's no way. Made out of this metal. But these are cool. It'd be cool to make like a belt instead of it being a concha. Use these Chinese or Japanese style coins and make conches out of them. Ooh, these are pretty freshly casted, these bells. I like this one. You hear that? Oh, man. <laughs> Sold. Seems like a lot of the stones they're selling are either these Uruguay amethysts or the heat treated citrine versions. I don't think they're bringing too much unique material from Indonesia. <laughs> I didn't know if that was a piece of calcite or if someone dropped a calcite egg in there. I'll put it back though. It looked pretty good. Almost looks natural in there. Little eggs growing in crystals. It smells like boxes, like the formaldehyde from boxes here. Candle bases. These are the aragonites. Just some basic stuff, but these are cool. Just bags of tumbles. 
when I first started buying uh, at the Tucson show, before I actually even started filming it, I would come to Miss Kim and I would buy Miss Kim's tumbles that then I would recut. It was um, the Brazilian emerald inside of that black mica matrix that I would really buy the larger bags from her from. Well, buy from her those larger bags of Brazilian emerald. It came back forty-five dollars for what is it? I think it's a two-kilo bag for forty-five bucks. I no longer see the stones here, but pretty good price on these tumbles. $60 for, huh, actually, only $35 for this giant bag of uh, smoky quartz tumbles or I guess anything in this section. So $35 for this giant bag of rose quartz. They're not tumble, that's rough. Or the sodalite. Untumbled fluorites. A variety bag of mixed Brazilian stones. 35 bucks. Not bad if you're just into crystal medicine or if you like to make little things out of tumbles. It's, it's a smoking deal. Or these Chinese amethyst tumbles. 35 bucks. It's a great deal. Anyway. <laughs> Was that the tiger's eye down there? Gotta take a look. Oh, I just broke the bag. Don't tell anybody. It's over there. Yeah, that's Miss Kim's. It's like world tchotchke goods. <laughs> the kind of stuff you'd probably see sold at a southern gas station or at a county fair. A little bit of everything. A little bit of everything. Not the best price, but not the worst price. <laughs> 